know. All right, so we're playing with the broadband radar today, which is right next to our heads in a bass boat. Uh, I've got it working with the Lake Insight mapping here on Lake Sky Took, doing the radar overlay, uh, watching these jet skis and everything cruise around us and pontoon boats. Where are the jet skis? Uh, straight off the bow. They're very small. <laughs> Give it a second to uh, position, but you can actually see them right there. It's quite a big blob for a jet ski. You can see the pontoon boat moving right here, right in the background. Good shot. There's the pontoon boat. Yep. So we also have our uh, 2D sonar working here, it's showing us a good thermocline. And uh, been seeing a lot of sand bass in here today, so getting a lot of movement. Uh, we also have uh, Cirrus radio running, so we can listen to music or do uh, weather overlays. Uh, fortunately today it's bright sunny skies, so nothing fun to look at. Some of the new features for HDS is a uh, do with mainly sonar here. So we have the nice big sonar picture. We have the ability to scroll backwards without having to create a sonar log. So if we see something we liked, we can come in here, mark a quick waypoint, let's go back and fish it without ever having to uh, look at a map. We have full screen radar as well, which we can do without overlay. What's that blob off to the left? That is the pontoon boat still. Let's see if I can figure that where that is. There it is. That's a very solid return, very clear. And you can even see the little buoy right here. This is for a bass boat setup. We've got a full size clock, so a tournament angler knows exactly when to be in by way in. Depth, speed over ground, water temperature, time to destination, live well temperature, cooler temperature. All of it's accessible with our NEMA 2000 sensors. And this is all sharing information through a NEMA 2000 and Ethernet. So simple, easy to install system. Can be done by anybody. Don't have to be an experienced installer.